Our young men have to do work. If they're too young to get a job, put them in an internship. If they're old enough, put them in the business with you. Have them sit in the office with you. Make them, do, make, them make photocopies or do something else. Keep them busy. Keep young men busy. Exhaust them. If they don't want to do work, put them in sports. Don't have them sit idle. Young men sitting idle, you are guaranteed to have trouble. It's not you might have trouble. You will have trouble. There's no other way of thinking about it. There's no, there's no second option. It is absolutely guaranteed. Absolutely guaranteed. Young guys, you want to save yourselves, get a job early. Let me tell you what a job does. It makes a man out of you. When you get yelled at by your boss, man, when you get paid almost nothing for doing like back-breaking work, you get respect for money. You get respect for what you earn. You get new respect for your father. You get new respect for them taking care of an entire household. You don't complain anymore that they didn't get you the newest toy and the newest video game because you know what it takes to earn that kind of money. New respect. I had a very wealthy friend who, whose son, smart kid, he graduated high school, A student, you know, got, a, got, got into a college and his father was so proud of him, bought him a BMW. Brand new. Three series. Nice car. Crashed it in two months. Oops. Dad yelled at him. Car's beyond repair. A month or two went by. He convinced his father to buy him a Lexus. Six months go by, he crashed that too. Then the father called me and said, what should I do? Two cars this boy's already destroyed. And I was like, why? You are so smart. If you were not smart, you wouldn't be making that kind of money. Why are you so dumb with your child? Tell him, earn it yourself. Go buy your own car. Go get a job. And so this boy gets a job. He worked at The Gap, folding t-shirts, right? And he's earning minimum wage and he's putting dollar after dollar together until he gets about $2,000 together and he bought like a 1988 Buick. And he's shining that thing every day and he's he loves it, he takes pictures of it, and he's it's never crashed it. Stays under the speed limit. Even give it a name. <laughs> Basanti. <laughs> why why did he why did he have such so much respect for this car? It's the ugliest car he has. He had a Lexus before this, he had a BMW before this. This is a hideous car. But you know what? This was from his own earnings. His respect for it. We have to give our kids respect for money. You know, if, they, if we keep giving them things, they will not have respect for money. They won't have respect for money. It's really important we do that, you know. The same thing with, with, with girls. If you can find work, do it. If not, volunteer. Volunteer at a hospital. Volunteer at a clinic. Help out at a shelter. Do things. Just keep yourself busy. Especially at that critical age and it will save you from a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. These are just some things about balance and responsibility that I wanted to highlight.